The heat means more people are heading out to the river to cool off. Action is now reporter Camila Acevedo shows us how we can stay safe in the water. With this heat, who does not want to get into this water? I mean, I know I do, but that is why Butte County Search and Rescue is reminding people how to stay safe in this water before enjoying some fun in the sun. It doesn't really matter how strong you are. You, you are absolutely no match for the power of the hydraulics of moving water. Even though we are starting to see some warmer temps, that doesn't mean the water will be the same. Whether you are swimming in the Sacramento River or the Feather River, Butte County Search and Rescue member Kevin Sukup says the water temperature is going to be cold. Yeah, with snow melt coming down from up in the mountains, uh, it's going to decrease the temperature of the water. Uh, it's going to make it colder and it's going to make it move faster. Which Sukup says can be dangerous. He encourages people to check river conditions before getting in, especially if there are releases from dams into the river. However, people tell me they aren't concerned. I have not seen anything or experienced anything that I would say, oh, that's super dangerous. Not at least on that on that river right in that stretch, but uh, yeah, it's pretty chill. If you don't feel safe in swimming, don't go out into moving water. But Sukup says that the water isn't the only thing that people should be paying attention to. It is also branches like this one that is sticking out of the river that people should be cautious about. It's called strainers when branches like these get stuck in the river. Sukup says it's dangerous and hard to remove yourself from when you get stuck. Like, have you seen anything crazy about people maybe getting stuck in the river or their tubes or anything? Have you ever seen anything like that? I have seen people get stuck in a particular spot when it's uh, that stretch, as you had mentioned, like from uh, Scotty's Landing yeah. up to like where the launch point is. I wouldn't say it's necessarily particularly dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it definitely gets people caught up and some people make it look a lot more dangerous with the way they react, perhaps. Search and Rescue has one six flat bottom river boat. They have an inflatable Equilus rescue boat and two paddle rafts that are used for the majority of swift water rescue. Yeah, our team is always ready, especially right now. Um, we have several uh, boat operators that are capable of taking our SJX flat bottom river boat out on the Sac River. Sukup says that Butte County Search and Rescue is ready and available whenever anyone needs it in the case of an accident or incident. However, he's also encouraging people to bring their own safety gear before getting in to this water. In Chico, I'm Camille Acevedo for Action News Now coverage you can count on. Right now we're told that the team typically sees two water calls a week for the Sacramento River.